Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly reading for the 17th of October. We are doing a general reading where we're going to be looking at what is going on around you in your world, what is coming in and what outcomes may be with regards to any situation around you right now. We are also doing a free bonus reading for you guys, me and my spirit guides, okay? We are calling in one of your past on loved ones or an ancestor to come in at the end of this reading and to basically give you some advice with regards to whatever may be happening happening in your world right now or whatever advice they want to give you at this time so let us begin Aquarius with regards to your reading let us get in here and start to smudge out the area as I always do it's always better to smudge out or cleanse your cards before readings or and also after readings as well and during readings so that is what I'm doing for you I'm burning okay so let me cleanse these cards for you with regards to any previous readings that were done with them I'm asking now please that the energy comes for in for whoever is is watching in this reading currently right now for my Aquarius is out there and I'm also asking if I'm not burning okay this is very hot okay that your spirit guides please do come into the spirit room I'm asking that your past on loved one comes into the spirit room as well and my spirit guides please to guide this reading forward us and to give us the information that we need to receive right now for my beautiful Aquarius is out there my unusually and different Aquariuses. Uh, Aquarius is always a very different energy compared to all the other zodiac signs. Always refreshing, you know. But let's get into this for you. Remember, it is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you're going to know it resonates with you. You're going to understand exactly what's going on in the reading. If it doesn't, do check your rising sign, check your moon sign. And I like to check Venus for love, okay? Um, personal readings. If you do want to have one with me, Deborah, you may contact me. My email is below in the description box, okay? and then you can uh, I will send you all the details I either do a video call with you or I do um, pre-recorded videos whatever is suited to you so we have got finding the path union of love Aquarius and we've got make a change mm -hmm. a change is needed for you to find the love that you want to find one of the cards fell down okay I'm just curious cat Aquarius, you are different from all the other zodiac signs. So let's see. What is these two cards? Shh, don't tell anybody else. Accepting challenges. Turn over a new page. Yeah, you. there's something in your life. I'm going to show you. These cards are beautiful. Accepting challenges. Trust your inner resources. So you are ready to make a change in your life here. Yeah? You are ready to make a change. Do not tell the other zodiac signs that I took out extra cards for you. Okay? And then turn over a new page is aligning with finding your path and make a change. Okay, so we got turn over a new page. Let love lead the way for change. You are about to meet somebody in love. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that image. Um, the why I'm saying you're about to meet somebody in love because the union of love is here. Embrace the beloved within your heart. So there is love coming into your world. Okay, and it is going to be up to you to either, I feel like you have to make some kind of change in your life, okay, so that you can get to be in the place where you need to be to meet this person, okay, and then when it comes, you're going to have to accept the challenge of falling in love with them, all right, let them in, in other words, make a change, welcome change into your life, all right, oopsie. Welcome change into your life. And then you've got the um, finding the path. You are the driver and the navigator. So this is up to you. If you stay where you currently are and you do not change anything here, it doesn't mean now that I'm going to tell you, you know, pack your bags, relocate to a new country. No, I mean, there has to be a change somehow in your life with regards to either your everyday routine, what it is that you are doing, maybe change something like um, maybe add a new hobby into your world, go to places that you've never been before, meet new people, expansion of some kind or a new direction of some kind. And sometimes this can be already associated, okay, with something that you might already want to be doing. So this is the trick. Our life, um, whenever somebody asks me, how do you find love? I say, find yourself. You want to find love, you find your, yourself first, the empress. 
you find yourself first, okay? You, if you're on the path of your life, okay? If you're walking the path of your life to the fullest extent of what you, how you're meant to be living. In other words, you're fulfilling your life's purpose. You're um, experiencing life to the fullest. You're experiencing, you're creating joy in your life in every which way possible. And if it means creating joy, means you go to um, help with animals in some kind of way. I just got a picture that somebody really loves animals out there for some reason. Or well, maybe this is guidance to how to get to this person. Ah, it's like if you love animals, for instance, quite interesting. Um, go out there and volunteer at these animal shelters and um, maybe go and do this rehabilitation thing. Actually, one of my clients who I reach for has got like an animal rehabilitation situation going on you know <laughs> so amazing actually and um you know do something out there that you love that you already love because your feelings are your guidepost your feelings are your roadmap to where you're meant to be going so you follow what you like what you like is not by accident for instance as you know i'm a very spiritual person so since I grew up in a spiritual household that wasn't really um focused on any religion it was just basically like a witch head witchery situation going on very much um pagan orientated and um so we were exposed to a lot of different things growing up with regards to spiritual beliefs but it was a passion of mine as well to want to learn more and what it ended up happening was at the age of 13 i was already reading books on numerology and divination and all those things because it was something that called me from very very young that's your guidepost whatever it is that interests you go deeper into it and that path of going into that is going to be what leads you to find this person that's how you find love by loving yourself because when you start following and doing the things that you love the things that call you you know that's self-love without a doubt let's have a look and see love this energy here very interesting that it comes up in your energy so right now, this is a very positive card to come up here. The King of Swords is talking about a lot of focus, a lot of hard work, a lot of loyalty, a lot of um, doing what you need to be doing. And it's also a very, a very strong card that talks about a lot of thinking. So it means like focus, direction, and then doing what you need to do. But where's the heart in this card here? Is The emotion is not here. So it's, I think it's time to kind of like take a step back. I feel like you're doing what you're meant to be doing. Don't not go to work. I'm just saying, don't ever do that. Okay. You need money to live. Okay. And so with regards to this, it's a lot of like, I feel like you're living your life doing what you need to be doing, but there's passion missing here in more ways than one. Okay. So it's almost like you, you need to connect to a person so that passion can be there, but you also need to connect to your soul in some kind of way and you're going to do that through emotion what if you don't even know what it is you want to do you know what i did um i love art as well sometimes you see my paintings popping up in my readings in the background and stuff i haven't painted in a while but if i had to say i need to find out how to get that passion back into my life i would then go back to what i used to do when i was a child that i used to love so if you're a child and you love nature you love growing things you love art you love doing whatever you used to love doing what when you were a kid maybe being out there walking around or um dancing singing whatever it may have been for you when you were younger start doing that again because that was your first your energy as a child did guide you and it can go back to guiding you again now so do those kind of things go back to what you used to like doing there's a direction you need to go in okay what crosses you is to trust this what crosses you what can be the problem is really really and truly that energy you're really living life right now focusing on what needs to be done Focusing on doing the right thing, getting strong, being strong, being powerful, being strong, being strong, really. Being powerful in your life and um, getting to the top of your career or even financially being stable, being the boss, being in control, you know, being a person in control. What can be crossing you here is to step a bit back from that and start to go deeper into the emotion and the mystery of life and the understanding of like needing to trust what is not even seen. So you practically right now looking at your life going, oh yeah, I'm single, Libra. And that's it, because you don't see the future. The high priestess can sometimes be talking about things that are going to be unfolding in the future still that you do not see. And that is going to require you to have faith here. It's going to require you to trust your intuition about what to do next. Um, so let's have a look at the root of a situation. You're ready though. 
you're so ready. The root of a situation is, I don't know what's been going on in your world, but this is in your roots. Um, a cycle is going to end in your life. A time of your life is going to change here. You're still in it still right now. Um, it's carrying a lot of burdens on your own here, as you can see. It's working very hard, being very responsible, but you end up carrying a lot of the burden on your own shoulders. And it's almost like you're tired now. You really want to be able to put this down and just be in a place where you feel like you belong and with a person that you feel like you belong with. I do really feel like there is love coming in here. It's hard. That's the only thing about being single. Um, being single is it's really hard because you've got all the responsibility on your shoulder. There's no one that you can kind of like go to and say, oh gosh, can you just do this for me today? And they're like, okay, unless you have amazing family members. But in your past year, I've got a very positive reading though, Aquarius. You have been opening up your world in some kind of way. Um, the past shows there is an expansion in your world. You're already on, could possibly be on the right path, on the right path. If changes have taken place in your world and you kind of like got new, met new people, you kind of like changed your life in some kind of way, you're definitely on the right path. Um, this is an expansion or opening up of your world in some kind of way. And if you've like, if you're going, I'm actually already like opening up my world already. I'm meeting a lot of new people. Um, I've expanded my world. I've changed my job. I've relocated. I've done a whole, I've taken up new hobbies and all these kinds of things. It shows with the King of Swords, but it also shows that you may not have as of yet seen the results of doing all of this. It is coming in. Let's look at possibilities here for you. There it comes, Page of Pentacles. Okay, what well, there is someone coming into your world. Nice that they're carrying a pentacle. Thank you so much. The pentacle in tarot is a representation of stability. It's a person that wants to be stable, that is looking at something stable. It's almost like, a, like that. For me, I, and I just got a vision, hey, I, and I don't usually get that in my readings because I'm clairaudient. I literally saw somebody carrying an engagement ring. When I looked at that image like that, I saw... Like that was quite strange. I don't often get that. It's not, a, it's not my strong point to see some vision like that. But I just saw somebody going and they opened this box like that. And I'm just like, whoa, the person coming in is interested in getting married. That is so nice. Thank you, spirit. Hello. And in your future, yeah, you've got a change coming in. Scorpio coming in, yeah, you've got a big change coming into your world. You're on the right path without a doubt. Something is going to change. This is a rebirth energy. The death card is not about bad endings. I think you don't mind certain things leaving your life right now, a certain way of life that you're living to change. So I think you're really willing and able to step into this death energy because it brings about a renewal energy, a rebirth energy and a rebuilding energy to change your life in some kind of way. A lot of inspiration, a lot of positive vibes coming from that one card there. A lot of like fresh energy, fresh new way of living coming in here. This is very good, hey? Let's see how you're feeling about yourself right now. You're ready. It's like Aquarius, you're ready. You're like, yes, Deborah. Thank you. Can you just send me this person's telephone number so I can get going, please? Spirit guides, hello. You know what I mean? You are ready to meet this person. You are ready to step out of your life. You're ready to put it down. You're ready to meet this person over there. You, I think you must trust spirituality a little bit. You must trust. You must have some faith. It's beautiful reading, guys. And it's, you know, it's so amazing how the cards come out in readings that they're just so, they align like it's just meant to be, you know, all these cards that came out from the beginning for you, it's like, whoa, death card, you are definitely ready to walk away from what you have right now. It's not that what you have is bad, it's just some of the things may not be what you want, you know what I mean? Some of the things that you're experiencing may not be what you want to be experiencing and some of the things that you do have could be so much better you know if you were sharing it with somebody i mean you know what i mean let's see the energy around you five of cups you have to let do what we're talking about in this card here just know that you cannot look at what has been and think that what has been the five of cups there's those three cups that have spilled there it could mean you have your heart broken three times already or you've had a person break your heart three times one person you have to walk away from what's in all these cups here into the unknown definitely i'm going to let you know right now whatever whoever this person is here um you just have to know that this is not somebody from your past okay i'm letting you know okay this is not someone from your past please if that's who you're hoping for i don't think so this is an unexpected person there's your two cups behind your back this is an unexpected person coming in when you least expect them 
to come in and do not keep on holding on to the past here don't look at the past and think that because the past it was three of cups fallen down where you had your heart broken that that is what it's going to be like moving into the future because that is not a a a determination of how life is just because the history shows that this is what happened in my life doesn't mean the future is going to be the same if there's one thing I know about life, life is so unpredictable. There's always some kind of little thing flying around in my reading. And I know there's somebody out there who remembers me talking about this before. You're going to comment below. There is your pinnacle coming in. Oh my goodness. Your fears, your hopes, the possibilities and the outcomes here. Look at this. You've got your page of pinnacles. You've got the ace of pinnacles. There is an offer coming in here from the heavens. And remember, we do have a pass on loved one coming in here. It can even be them that is helping you here to get yourself into a long-term, very strong relationship from the very start. It's very strong. It's very grounded. I actually like this energy quite a lot. So let's see at the outcome here. Emperor rocking up here with Aries coming in. Wherever you are going, you let me just say, first of all, Emperor, wow. This is an excellent card, even when it comes to, um, how can I put this, um, life success as well. Money-wise, um, Aquarius, money is there. If you're going to be open a business of some kind or want to be self-employed, that's absolutely excellent. This person could be an Aries sign or an emperor representation of what this means. They could be either a business owner, a consultant, self-employed, very highly educated, lawyer, doctor, um, accountants, people who have got like degrees, you know, they went through university to get those degrees, educated. Um, like I said, business person as well. But this is also an indication of where you are going. And that is to the level that you want it to be. The relationship in itself is very good. With these pentacles coming in yet, I don't feel like this relationship just benefits you with love. I feel like this relationship changes your life. It's almost like the two of you coming together with this joint income. It's like, whoa, next level. You will get yourself to become to this emperor stage with this person, which is a financially very, very strong life with them. That is an excellent energy. Let's get you in here and call in a past on love one to come in, please, to my Aquarius is out there. I know there's going to be, it's a general reading. So you must listen to what I say with regards to this past on loved one. Something I'm going to say is going to be resonating for you. They have a way of speaking or a way of sharing the information so that you know exactly who the past on loved ones are. Okay. Also, I'm calling a, a specific group of people that are going to have that same resignation, that kind of like understanding of who that person is. It's like, I don't know how it works. I just accept, you know, I just have to accept high priestess energy. It works. Okay. So let's see who is this person. Okay. This is quite interesting. I'm going to stop right there because there's two people that stepped into your reading. Um, this two people, there's a man and a woman. Um, there is a possibility they were married before or they were related in some kind of way direct right either they were married and they had children together or they were brother and sister or cousins or something like that they were male and female in the family but they were blood related so they were mother and son father and son or father and daughter but it's male and a female they are letting you know <laughs> that it's time to get ready they coming in together and i'm just hearing what they're saying they're coming in together because they want you to know that you're also going to be two people. You're also going to be with somebody, like they were with somebody. Um, if they were not married to each other, they were very, very close when they were alive. Okay? Could have been like the brother and sister, twins even, you know. Um, like they were married or they were brother or sister or something of that matter. Or even father and child, mother and child kind of vibe. But they were very close and the relationship that they have had with each other when they were alive um, is the kind of relationship that they know is coming in for you. And that's why they're coming in here like this to let you know, get ready. Um, the shed old skin, the snake energy, your life is going to be transforming. Death card. Wow. Your life is going to be transforming. I'm going to, I'm just going to. I hear them. So I hear them talking away because I'm hearing two different distinctive 
energies that are not my spirit guides. Um, I'm gonna, and I, the sun is just, um, they know who it is. <laughs> They know this person already and that's what i'm trying to catch because they're both talking at the same time and the female energy is trying to talk and the male energy is just kind of going over her quite a bit excited kind of vibe coming from them the female she's not supposed to say this the male the female the lady she's not supposed to say this but in life she could never keep a secret anyway so it's okay um she's got a big mouth she can't keep a secret to save herself she would be the person who tells you what your birthday present is before you even received it you know what i mean she gets too excited she says i know who this person is i know who this person is in your life i know them i watch them i go to them she's too impatient she can never wait for the cake to cool you know or the cookies to cool down she's just going to grab some and eat some before the time is ready so she's going i know who this person is already i see this page the ace of pentacles when they're coming in i i i don't know what she's doing she's like she can't tell me the complete details but she's sharing with you that she knows and these people are very close these two are very close because even the the male energy that's coming in here the way that he's just looking at her and he's just like I know you can't, can't control yourself, you know what I mean? They know each other very, very, very well. And if you're wondering, like, past on loved ones that have gone, they do reunite. Um, we do reunite with past on loved ones. If you ever wonder that, you will see these two again when it's your time. And um, it's never over. We are never gone, okay? We're always somewhere. We're always gone. It's just the beginning. When you go one day, when it's your time to pass on, um, you will finally awaken. That's when you wake up and you realize you've been dreaming all this time. Okay, so they're letting you know. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups again. You've got a beautiful energy coming in here. She is letting you know. She, the Queen of Cups, is letting you know that love is coming into your life. And the male energy is coming in here, letting you know that something's about to change in a major way for you. You are walking away. Your future to you is unknown. But to them, they are going, we know. We know already. Once you pass on and you go to the other side, time ceases to exist. And currently right now, time is a concept that only exists here on earth. Okay, it doesn't exist anywhere else. We made this up, okay? But it works for us in some kind of weird way. It also can be a problem for us as well. Everything that is happening to us and that has happened to us and that will happen to us has already happened. It's all taking place at the same time. And that is why my spirit guides can come in and tell me about something that happened in the past and tell me about something that's going to happen in the future. And this is how your past on loved one is already seeing this relationship before it has happened. Because time is a construct of our own mind. It's not in reality what is happening. And they are seeing something here. They are letting you know twice now that a change is about to take place for you. And that you are moving into this new cycle. Do not be afraid to even make the changes yourself. Follow your heart, what calls you to go do something. So if inside your heart you said, you know, I always wanted to go see the pyramids. I always wanted to go travel to Paris. Go do it. Go and do it. Go do it. I always wanted to take up cooking and learn how to cook noodles, whatever, go and do that, figure it, go online, get a website, go to a place, go book a cooking class, go start expanding your world, because out there in that expansion, as it gets bigger and bigger like this, this new person is waiting for you to come, and you guys are going to bump into each other on the journey that you are going to be on, so that's how you are going to find this person there we go thank you so much oh my goodness Aquarius you're reading Woo. thank you so much ancestors who came in here I'm really honored to have their, their presence such a beautiful vibe coming from these two ancestors they so if you want to know how your ancestors are going doing these two they are so I'm gonna put this in the right word joyous joy jovial they said they're so jovial okay I don't ever use that word. Okay, they are jovial. They are happy where they are. And they're trying to get you to the place where they see you in the same kind of energy. 
there we go aquarius thank you so much do remember to hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't done so turn on that bell in the corner there that you can tap it there it will let you know when my readings come out so it pops up on your screen you can come in and check next week's readings otherwise i'm sending my love to you guys as i always do bye